Oh, hey, good morning. Philip Stevens with the Baptist Church of Driftwood. It's early in the morning, and I'm, like most people, I've got things that I want to do. I've got routines that I always have that are very important to me, that are meaningful to me. One of those routines is going to the gym and working out. The gym that I go to uh, presently is closed. And as is the case with most of the gyms in this area, they're shut down, people can't get in. So uh, I've been trying to find an alternate way to uh, work on my cardio, uh, another means of doing the things that are important to me. And I see it all the time out in the neighborhood here. I see people running down the street. I see uh, nobody's chasing them. They're just running to get that exercise, to get that cardio up. Uh, their physical health is important to them, so they're finding an alternate way of accomplishing that goal. And just like most of the gyms are closed, most of the churches that I know are closed this morning. But just because they're closed doesn't mean that we can't find a way to do those things that are important to us. You know, just as it is important to be physically fit, it is equally, I would say more so, important to be spiritually fit. There are some spiritual disciplines we should engage in. We should worship. We should engage in discipleship. And we should engage in fellowship with one another. So this Sunday morning when most of the churches are closed, I hope that you find a way to do the things that are important to you. I hope that you find a way to worship the Lord, to tell Him thank you for the blessings in your life, to ask Him for strength for the things that, that trouble you and concern you, and that you will find a way to study His Word, read His Word, share His Word with other people, and engage in fellowship with those around you. Well. You know, it's a, it's a true thing that from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. The things that we love, the things that we uh, are interested in, we talk of those things and we do those things. This morning, on Sunday morning, I hope and I pray that you make time to worship the Lord, that you find some time to read His Word, that you find some time to tell Him thank you for the people that He's blessed you with in your life. I know He's blessed me. I have wonderful family, wonderful friends, many things to be thankful for. And I'm thankful that this workout's over. Have a good day. God bless.